out there and welcome to English Plays. We're here with Quintera, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy for free. And we're going to play. We're going to play Quintera. Oh, here we go. We got the, the tutorial. Um, we're going to play the game, I guess. Welcome to the combat tutorial, young one. Let's get you started off. I'm going to fast forward through the tutorial so we can see some actual gameplay. <laughs> Okay, so we've uh, we've learned how to play the game, I think. Um, it's very Magic the Gathering meets sort of like tabletop. I don't know. Um, there's like mana and crystals and uh, summoning sickness and stuff like that. It's not... None of it's called that, obviously, but um, it is very Magic the Gathering. Um, into the world of Quintero, let's go over how you progress through your journey. Oh, is this more tutorials? You'll visit the three regions of Quintera. Each region has a primary element that is present throughout the region, as well as two primary species that inhabit it. Okay? Uh, each area is a separate step, containing a number of locations with different options and challenges. I don't, I don't ever necessarily think this needs a tutorial. Are the main kind of node you will visit? As you've seen before, these locations involve fighting your enemies. Great. Okay. Present a serious challenge and required to conquer each domain. Alright. Shop locations include the guild and marketplace. Uh, any number of times while you remain in that region. Bonus locations will reward you with free units, equipment, or crystals. Sure. Gold is one of the primary resources you must consider in your expedition. Fantastic. We can earn gold through combat. Uh, morale is reduced in combat if you take too many turns against bosses or allow the enemy to win any victory points. You'll immediately fail your expedition and will have to start over. Uh, okay. Now that you understand what's the basics. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is just more tutorials. Right. Fast forwarding. <laughs> Okay, so I won the first combat. I had to exit out and come back in because I couldn't figure out how to summon dudes, but it's just click and drag. I was just trying to click them and click in the space, and that's fine. So we're going to we're gonna do this next combat, and I'll talk about it. So basically the way... Oh, here we go. We are of the same blood. We are both beasts alienated from our original bodies. It's a shame these beasts are so hostile. So how it works is you draft a piece of land for whatever reason. I don't... See, I don't know what that means because it wasn't in the tutorial. I don't... I don't... An ancient jungle to main, uh, positive score means you will gain a victory point at the start of your turn, while night means your opponent will gain a victory point. Right. Okay. Sure. I mean, can we just, we can't just draft that. Alright. And you have to start off drafting one. We'll draft this guy, I suppose. There we go. And... 
this guy as well. There we go. Oop. Oh, he has way too much armor. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention, guys. That was bad. I forgot I forgot about his armor. So that's bad news. I'm doing the wrong stuff there. That is a that is a big tough guy. Okay. So he's getting victory points and I'm doing terribly. That's really embarrassing. Okay. Oh, I should have I should have crystalled him up, but I didn't I didn't do that. Okay. Well, let's get ourselves some extra mana. And we'll go there. And we'll end the turn. Well, that just seems unnecessary. Wow, what is going on here? I don't I don't know how we're supposed to win this. This seems bad. Um like we've we've lost our elite dudes. We'll draft that. We'll give him some stuff. There we go. So he's got tons of health or whatever. Okay. We'll put that there. And then he can attack there. Great. And I guess we just end the turn. So we, we won that fight, and that guy is just going to pop back up. Great. Okay, so maybe I don't know what I'm doing, because this is all going terribly. This is going really, really terribly. Um, yeah. Um, there's, like, no point in summoning him. I don't know. Maybe what if I put him here. Sure, he can't do anything until next turn. Of course he can't. Right? But he can move here, I guess. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Can he, can he do damage to that guy? Because this guy is just getting harder and harder. I don't, I don't have anything that can fight him. Okay. Well... I guess we're just going to lose. Yeah, I just... I, I really don't see how we're supposed to be winning this. It doesn't... It doesn't feel winnable. No. So I've, I've already summoned all my elites. So all we can do is... Uh, give ourselves more space. I don't know. Sure. Sure. This is the guy that gets tougher as he moves. So if we put him here, and then he moves here. And then... Can fight there. So he's getting bigger, which is good. And we'll get the Deep Root Sanctum going. Sure. Is that mine? Is this my guy? I don't... Actually don't I actually didn't even know that I was using this guy. I don't know why I attacked that guy. Okay, so I am playing this really, really poorly, but um the game just keeps trucking along. I'm not actually sure what I'm meant to be doing. I don't, I don't know what that did. Hex reversal. Okay. Yep. Yep. I mean, that happened, I guess. So we've got tons of mana. Great. And kill that guy. I don't... I don't know what our... What is our... What is our goal here? Gain three victory points. Right. So are we... Oh, we are gaining victory points. That's good. It's handy to know. Um, there we go. Do we, so have we gained victory points or where are victory points being tracked? They've got one. I see. Okay. Um, 
Let's give this guy some extra moves. Oh, it's within a certain range. That's dumb. Okay, never mind. Uh, what if we put this guy here? Yeah, what if we give this guy some extra moves and then he does stuff? Like, I guess, gets killed by that guy, like, immediately? Yeah. He can just move. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. So I... Yeah, we're... Are we winning? I think we're, I think we're winning. Because we still have positive points at the end of the turn. Maybe? So we got a victory point there. Okay. I am sort of following along, I guess. Sort of. So we'll draft that. Sure. And... Yep. Yeah. So that was just a bad spot for that. That's fine. We can bring this back. We can live there. What is this guy? Move towards the target enemy within two range and deal two. A spell does not cost an action. And he can pounce. Oh. I nearly killed their big dude. That's good. What was that? What is that guy? The predator. The lichen elite. Don't have anybody else like that. Um, so he's going to die. Yep. Yeah. And... That's a champion. We don't we don't want to mess with him, right? Striking enemy heals this. Um, sure, there we go. That's that's handy. That will get through. Um, can we can we give him an extra turn? We can't. Of course we can't. Okay. Um, right. So I think we're done with our turn. Yeah, I think we're done with our turn. Yes, I killed their big dude. Um, oof. So we're back to zero. So I see. So it's just a battle of the wills. Sure. Um, let's put this guy here. And he can get boosted. There we go. Get wrecked. And then what about this guy? This guy can go here. Kill that guy. What is this guy doing? This guy's, this guy's doing nada. Um, right. And I, I guess I'll bring this guy in as well. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nope. Not gonna happen. I mean... Yes! We got our second victory point. Nice! Alright, so... Alright. I'm figuring it out. So, we've already drafted all of our elite guys. That's fine. This is the guy who stacks up... Uh, there we go. And we'll bring this guy in to finish off the deal. Goodbye. Get absolutely wrecked. There we go. Oh, we can summon an another dude. I'll do that. There we go. And I should have it on lockdown here. So I'm, yeah, and I know, I know how it works now. I understand the victory points. I am victorious. Fantastic. All right. So where are we off to next? So we've got, so we've got some gold now, and we've got some talent points. So we've only got two talent points, so we literally can't buy anything. Oh, a color. So that guarantees is a colorless lichenite crystal. Nope. Um, right, so there's a port or a uh, guild. Let's go to the guild. 
so these are different these are more different elites that's cool how much money we've got 300 I see um, artificer no a freet sure we'll go with the seer Elites. I don't know what minions do. Whatever. Well, we can't afford them anyway. Let's go to the port. What does gain 20? I'll gain 20 morale. Let's recruit an elite. Um, so we've got an imp elite spell powered. Oh. Inspire, expose... Right, Moonlight. The first time this has four or more attack, replace this passive with Frenzy. Okay, sure. Alright, and we're off. We're off to the next area, guys. Alright, Champion. Let's fight this guy. Difficulty 2. The Admiral is a primitive being with a sophisticated ar arsenal. It does not bode well for nature. Make quick work of them. So, destroy all key enemy units. We lose on the enemy's 10th turn. Sure. Um, yeah, let's get this guy going. And here. And here. He's just there to soak up some damage. Oh, we can't afford anything else. That's fine. Just there's... Oh! Oh, that was so rude. That was hella rude, guys. Did not enjoy that. Nope. What about this one? Here we go. Let's get the druid going. Give me that druid boy. Oh, I can't afford the druid boy. Alright. Um, but I can afford that. Alright. So let's... So they both die. That's bad. What does this mean? The remaining number of key enemies that you must defeat. He's the who's the this is the main key enemy. I've gotta I've gotta kill him, right? And I'm out of stuff. That's fine. Well they've got like cannons and stuff, right? So alright. Uh nope. What about that one? That's the same. Sure, I guess it's Striking enemy. Let's give him extra damage. Extra damage! Right. Okay, so... Oh, I nearly killed him. Why did I not kill him? No. Okay, whatever. We can bring out the druid now. Heal, target, ally, ourself. Oh, we can't do that till next turn. Um, sure. That's what we're doing. Ouch. Okay, so we're we are running out of turns here. Um, we are definitely running out of turns. Deal two spell damage to all adjacent enemies. That's what I want. That is what I want. Oh, he's going to get killed, though. Alright, so. There we go. Healed him. Nice. Alright, who else have we got? Let's bring this guy in here. That's okay. That was okay. And we're, we're out of stuff to do. 
Or he could attack him. I see. That was a bad idea, but that's fine. Well, at least I killed their guy. But it's not actually going to matter, because what I actually need to do is damage to that guy. And it's, it's not happening, team. It is definitely not happening. Oh, so this is like a boss battle thing that I am not going to succeed at. Right. Um. Okay. What is this guy doing? Gain one health for each adjacent ally. Um, that's going to kill him. So he didn't quite die. That's good. Probably should have been attacking there. There we go. So he's he's doing good healing. He'll target ally or self within two range for this unit's plus two. Within two range. That's what I've done. How do I get him four or more attack? I don't understand. But that's... Uh, it is what it is. We are definitely not going to succeed at this, are we, though? Yeah, this is this is not happening. We have not been we have not been focusing our fire. Yeah, unfortunately, this is all going very badly. Oops. Right. Can I, can I reach him? I cannot. It's once again in the worst spot. Okay. Um, just put that back there. Sure. I don't, look, I don't know guys. I don't, this is, this is not going to work out for me. I can feel it. We'll just give this guy an extra turn. There we go. And then... We moved him up. We've got a few, we've got a few more turns, but not... Not many. Not many, if any. Is he, he will survive one attack. Sure. Oh, they killed my thing. I don't like that. I don't like them apples. Alright. Really don't like that. Alright, so, this, oh no, we can, we can bring our Deep Root Sanctum back, great. What, why will this not attack? What is this, passive? Oh, rude. That is hella rude, ugh. Dragon enemy heals us. Sure. Gotta fight the stupid taunt guys. It's dumb. Um. He needs to do some damages. Yep. Yeah. And then what is this guy doing? He's doing. Right. There we go. This is all going very, very poorly, team. Not good at all. Okay. There we go. And then we give him an extra turn. And he swats that guy. No, never mind. We're not going to do that. He's just going to swat this guy and kill him. Great. Good work. And I'm the winner! So... That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. Ooh, a choice of rare or equipment. 
Shaman beads. Oh. Fully cleanse adjacent allies. That's cool. Gnarled hand. Gain one spell power. Passive consume. Wait, what? Gain one attack and one health when killing an enemy. Uh... Sure. All right. So we'll give it, okay, let's let's put it on. Let's put it on our Lycan Scout. Yeah, there we go. Like that guy. Sure. All right. So. So we didn't get to do any of those, huh? That seems weird. Uh, oh, so it's like, bran it's branching paths. It's branching narrative or whatever. I guess we'll go this way. Um, let's go look at the description, because we're, we're at that part of the, uh, the show where we look at descriptions. All right, Quintera, embark on a tale of conquest across five domains in Quintera. Build and customize your army in this roguelite turn-based tactics game. So yeah, like, uh, the, it's funny because the game that I'm actually getting vibes from is... Slay the Spire, um, in that there are, do seem to be like a lot of cards and choices and things like that. Like, it, look, it's not a C, it's not a card battler, um, but it does kind of ha share the same DNA. Um, the visuals are very cool, it's very pretty. Um, oh, what's that other game? The same guys that made FTL made another game, and it kind of looks like that as well. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty. The soundtrack is lovely. The gameplay is sort of frustrating. But I was starting to get the feel for it, get the vibe, you know, I was starting to understand what I was meant to be doing. The tutorial does go pretty far in explaining the mechanics, um, even though I totally missed some basic stuff because of my own fault. Um, but there are some stuff that isn't covered in the tutorial and be really good to have some help. Um, so it's developed by Side Real Studio, and it's an early access, okay. So they want to have uh, more expedition features, units, encounters, long-term progression systems, and polish. One year worth of early access. Cool. Five playable heroes. Um, and the price is subject to change after early access. Okay. Uh, it costs $15.71. That's a pretty good price for a game that's got this level of polish. I like it. I like that price for this game. Um, that is solid. Embark on a tale of conquest across five domains in Quintera through a unique drafting mechanic the very world changes before you so one thing that is very lackluster to me is the drafting mechanic because uh the games go on quite long and it seems like after the first like three turns um you've already drafted your entire squad and then that's it you're done and I know that there's probably skill in getting the enough crystals so that you can put crystals on your guys, because I was struggling. Um, I'm sure that there's skill there, um, but after a while you are just adding one extra mana, which you also don't need because you're generating so much that it literally doesn't matter anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that, I feel like that needs to be tweaked a bit because basically the drafting just felt kind of pointless. It was... Everything else was cool. I enjoyed, like maneuvering my guys and making sure that I was using their abilities and doing the stuff um, but the drafting just felt really pointless like it was just okay why um, but it's not terrible it's not like it's broken it does work it just didn't feel like it needed to be there um, so it either needs to have more effect or more ongoing effects or something um, or I don't know Maybe I just need to keep playing and then I'll get the actual feel for what the drafting system is supposed to be doing, but I, I really didn't get it there. So, build your army. Choose elites, minions, equipment, and crystals you wish to bring into battle. Plan accordingly or you may fail your expedition from losing too much morale. Yeah, so, that was the other thing. I don't know how I'm supposed to plan. I know that I can get more elites and get more equipment and it looks like I can equip them and stuff, but I don't... Yeah, I never felt like I had a whole lot of control over what I was getting. It was just, that's what I was getting, and then you play with them, and that's fine. And seems like, generally speaking, 
equipping uh, equipping all your crystals to one dude and paying that price is definitely the worthwhile thing to do. Um, there doesn't seem to be any reason not to do that, basically. So, four playable species. Choose from the Headstrong Lichens, the Trixie, the Trixie Imps, the Durable Crystallians, uh, or the Knowledgeable Ethreals. Procedurally generated random rewards, procedurally generated maps, and random enemies create a varied and dynamic experience through each expedition and each combat encounter. Um, so it's got good reviews here. Really solid strategy game with deep RPG customization. Um, it's a roguelite turn-based strategy game. It's a mix of various battles and Slay the Spire's map structure. Yep, I kind of said that. Probably the best indie turn-based strategy game on Steam, and I virtually played all of them. Sure. The models are handmade. Yeah, the models look very, very cool. I do like the progression as well. I made a 30 second review of this game that you can see here. Fantastic. Uh, fun little roguelite deck building strategy game. Like Feria. Okay. Active development, so far so good. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's certainly a difficult game with a large amount of thought process involved. Yeah, I would agree with that. So let's have a look at Side Real Studio and see what else they've done. So this is their first game, their only game, and it's pretty good. This is a pretty good game. So I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, you can uh, pick this up on Steam for 15 bucks right now, or what is that, like 11 bucks US. And uh, if you like the video, click the like button. If you want to comment, comment down below. Subscribe is always great, because then I know that you're watching. And uh, otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.